guys and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K19 my career mode um, before we get started I, I do want to go ahead and say I tried to up, like uh, upgrade my look I tried to put in a new t-shirt and stuff like that on but for some reason I guess since the everything's down because this is an older game uh, like the servers are down I can't actually upload any of my logos or anything like that so what I might do is if we do decide, if I do decide to play 2K20, then I'll do the out, you know, the crazy looks and everything. Um, and this one we're just gonna get done with the story. So let's get into it. Supposedly we should be doing Hey bro! <laughs> what a crazy night. I know! That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're gonna do great. Uh, thanks, man. You know, I too bad you didn't get signed too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But, if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. What? I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You, uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. What the hell? Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What? I'm a missy man. What? BCW handshake? Nah. It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. It's a normal handshake. You fist bump. That's it. We're not doing a damn BCW handshake. Bullshit. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know. It's been a minute. I have an idea. One yeah, last road trip together? This, this Let's do this. Of... Wow! And they just lost it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. You've got to be kidding me. Please, you know, you. seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs. Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. Nope, he's walking. Just straight up, he's walking. Nope, I'm done with him. The band is breaking up. <laughs> it's over. Guys, I have been streaming for, well, not streaming, but recording for five hours now. Like, <laughs> just completely straight. Oh, tired. This monster is the only thing that's keeping me going. Because I finished Resident Evil. Oh, front cover. What's Smackdown that? Live's newest superstar has that's arrived. Uh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. That is what I'm talking about. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm What's glad up, you dude? made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Yeah, I wouldn't want it any other way. Exactly. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's U.S. title. Damn. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. Damn, 
gender? Really? Look at Xavier. Just, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I've been dominating SmackDown Live for over two years. And then you show up and get a chance to be the number one contender for the United States title on your first night here? Nice there. there shouldn't even be a battle royal. I'm a former United States champion, and I should be the number one contender. Should you, though? But should you, though? Look, I get it. No one likes the new guy. But that doesn't mean I don't deserve an opportunity like everyone else. <laughs> Whatever. The way I see it, another guy named Baron almost destroyed your career before. And tonight, I'm going to finish what he started. I'm no stranger to Battle Royals. I was the runner-up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania 33. No one else stands a chance tonight. Well, didn't Mojo win that? Did you say runner up? Yeah. I'm pretty sure you need to win to become the number one contender tonight. Insulting the modern day Maharaja is not the way you want to start your tenure on SmackDown Live. You wanna do something about it? Nah, we ain't gonna say him side match. We wanna I wanna get right to the match. I wanna get right to it. I ain't wanna waste my any time. Coming up is a form of combat that personifies the concept of every man for match, himself. All eyes match, are going to be watching. Uh, Baron and, you know, gender. And then we got Zack Ryder. Nat, now, that was it, uh, Matt Cardona. And then we got Rusev. Damn, we got, we just got some heavy hitters in this match tonight. Too bad I got to win against all of them. Even my boy Sean Spears, hey. Me and the chairman in the morning. The Indian Vader is here! It's Buzz! I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off the Lola. It's time for a perfect 10. Come on, Corey, put your hands I up. Might even look at, at, I don't know. I might work with some people. You know? yeah. Who knows? I might have to. Here comes the worst internet champion ever! The worst internet champion? What? Ooh, it's first time here on SmackDown Live. Baz has an opportunity to become number one contender to for the United States Championship. How, how did he qualify for this match? He literally just walked in the door. You have to take that up with Daniel Bryan for it now. Look, I know he got signed to SmackDown Live using somewhat questionable methods, but I'm willing to give him a chance. Let's see what he can do. Nail it. potentially rebounds by the looks of things. I don't think he expected his opponent to be as motivated as he clearly is here today. What a stop! Oh, great! Looks like he's starting to sweat now. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. This thing appears to be slipping away from 
from him in a hurry, guys. And you can bet he envisioned things going much differently for him heading into... Hold up, I can't see. Damn it. It's cutting off on me. Okay, there we go. This match. This must be it. Oh, my. Incredible drop. Can you let me see? Oh my goodness, what an impactful FTO. Guy Zack Ryder may be in a bad way here. Over the last few years, Xavier Woods has become okay. a legitimate pop culture phenomenon. From bootios to ice cream to hosting WrestleMania, he's done it all. Down to the floor. Oh, what impact. As Michael mentioned, Xavier Woods has definitely made his mark on pop culture. But perhaps his biggest contribution is Woods' thriving video game channel, Up Up, Down Down. If you happen to like both video games and go for Bruce with a running super kick, this might be the opportunity he needed. Things just went from bad to worse for Xavier Woods. Oh, oh, man! Baron Corbin looking a little shaken here, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Rusev can't be enjoying this. Oh, no. Rusev still dazed. No reverses it. What a stop. Good grief. He's too quick for him there. Can't do it. Kick! <laughs> the mighty Rusev looking a bit surprised by this assault. He needs to create his space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment here, right? I mean, it'd be cool. The driver spiked him. This might be it, guys. Oh, man, Baron Corbin is in trouble now. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Hey, Rusev. Stupid. Rusev, stupid. Uh-oh. Oh, are you oh, you kidding me? Back of his neck. Walk up over here. I told you not to walk up over here. you got to believe this one's over. He caught him slipping. Harsh impact. How do you think Buzz is doing so far in his first official WWE match? I've been impressed. He doesn't seem overwhelmed in any way. I'm surprised he's lasted this long. Chalk it up to beginner's luck. What can Rusev do here to up the odds for success? You can bet this is not how he drew this one up. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. It's that simple. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Oh, incredible height. This might be the end of Corbin. Watch out here. Now in full control. This could be huge. And there's the last elimination. Put this in the books.
That's what I'm talking about. Number one contender. Already in the damn... You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. Yeah, I'm actually better in regular one-on-one -on -one matches than in a battle royal. Now, if you put me in the elimination chamber, that's a whole other story. Then somebody's going to get hurt. I'm just saying. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on mm -hmm. SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Do I have to do a promo? Yep, I gotta do a damn promo. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's Sorry, truly buddy. glorious about that title is its history. Yeah, buddy. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Brett the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. It's kind of weird without no music. Let me stop you right there. Boy, Bobby. You come to SmackDown last week. Get lucky by winning a battle royal. And then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right I to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you. The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. Ooh, I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please continue. <laughs> okay, if you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on 
in an Iron Man match. Uh, yeah. I'm okay with the Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. I'm okay with that. I'll be honest. Uh, that's dope. That's dope. Let's go. We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have one of our breakout talents versus a formidable game, opponent. High stakes, don't miss it. Well, before we get into that, uh, to see this match, you're going to have to tune in next week or next episode. Um, I didn't know it was going to go right into the match. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. The following contest is an Iron Man match.